Paida Lajin Self Healing. This is a word, Paida Lajin. Two words actually. Paida means sleeping. Lajin means stretching. Well, different people get to know this from different channels. You might hear, you might hear from a friend, or you see a read a testimonial from internet or by watching a video. The healing is great. What does this mean? This means other people's story or other people's experience. So if you really want to learn this, you have to keep in mind. First of all, it's called self-healing. That means it has to be learned and has to be personally experienced by yourself. Otherwise, it doesn't make much sense to you. So where to begin with? How do we learn this? This is my suggestion. First of all, you'd better read the book. Either an ebook from Amazon.com or Pydalajin Self Healing, a physical book, so that you have a basic understanding about the logic and the theory behind this. Why it is natural? What is where is this root from? Yeah. Then conceptually it's easier for you to go on. After you finished reading the book, you'd better try to get more testimonials and videos and uh, all these case studies from internet, either from Pydalajin Facebook or from Pydalajin Self-Healing YouTube or Pydalajin.com, that kind of uh, English website, okay? Because by doing so, you'll find more cases on different scenarios, either small pain problem or more serious problems like you know, heart attack, diabetes or hypertension or skin diseases. Then you will go through all the different reactions, especially the healing crisis or the healing reactions. Then you have more confidence. After reading this stuff, that is still theory, you have some idea even image about the sun, yet you haven't died yourself. So then now you, you, you may try a little bit by yourself. You can try with slightly gently. If it is too painful, never mind, you can do it more gently. Gradually increase the intensity. Then you have the shock. Experience the pain. Then you have more questions. Then at this moment, I strongly suggest that you attend the workshop. Maybe it's easier for you to attend the online workshop first, and then you'd better attend an offline workshop. Ideally, it should be a seven-day workshop, because in the seven days, you'll go through the whole, what we call, carpet bombing from head to toe, right? You're not only doing the pie da, you're not only slapping other people, you're also being slapped, you're also slapped by others, and you're also going to slap together with all these people collectively. So you can see this kind, of, this kind of experience will be more comprehensive, especially by going through the pain, seeing the shock, and overcoming all the different healing reactions. And the Chinese call it good reactions. It looks bad, suffering, yet it is all good and positive. Why? Because it is healing. So after attending the workshop, you have a much, much better understanding deeply from your heart. Of course, during that session, anytime you can get an online examination, because we put all this into different ABCD examinations, you can easily do it online. Of course, these answers will be basically from the book, Pythalizing Self-Healing. So by studying the theory, by personally practicing by yourself, then by attending the online and the offline workshops, you will fully understand and fully master the skill of self-healing. Please keep in mind, you have to do it all by yourself. Even in a group where you help each other, this is still called self-healing because we are not doctors. This is not a medical treatment. Yet, also keep in mind, self-healing is not supposed to replace the doctor's medical treatment. 
when you're not ready, when you don't fully have confidence in this, when you get sick, you still go to see the doctors. So much for today. Thank you for your watching.